Ask Reddit by Lucky Lazy KS. What movie blew your mind when you first saw it? Raiders of the Lost Ark. I was about 9 and walked out of the theater like wow, wow. Edited to say, please don't spend money. It's just a fond memory. Something that can't be repeated. The nearest thing was taking a rip off nitrous on acid and jumping into a swimming pool a few years later. Synthetic simplicity. Yes. I don't think I took my eyes off the screen for a second while seeing it and each scene was more exciting than the last. Riveting. Aliens. What an incredible movie going experience. I was really engrossed the entire time. I saw it in 1986 at a midnight matinee. The mostly kids crowd was going crazy before the movie started. Everybody running around and screaming with a bunch of kids throwing those popper things at people. I thought they'd never settle down and trying to watch the movie would suck. Five minutes in I looked around and every single person was just sitting there with their mouths wide open. Just a fucking awesome movie from start to finish. Spirited away. The feeling it left me with was like I'd had an intense, vivid dream. I'd never seen such soulfully executed animation. For me it was Princess Mononoke, but all of Miyazaki's films are so incredible. Terminator 2 Edited to at, wow, I didn't realize just how many people felt the same way. Thanks for the awards everyone. I was obsessed with this movie as a kid and watched it like every day for 3 years. Jurassic Park I loved how under wraps they kept the whole thing. You literally could not see what the dinosaurs looked like unless you paid for a ticket on release. I remember a photo of Steven Spielberg in the paper posing with one of the dinosaurs and they completely blacked out the dinosaur. You only saw a tail for a brief second in the commercials. And am. Um, when they show that first dinosaur and it rears up on its hind legs to get that high branch, I shrunk down in my seat a little. Had no idea what I was in for. The Matrix. I remember seeing it in a theater when it came out. Matinee on a Wednesday afternoon but the theater was still a quarter full. Guy in front of me said what in the fuck question mark during the bullet time scene. Sticks with me to this day. Fight Club. It was such a weird movie with such crazy characters. Beautifully shot and a great story with themes that are still of interest today. I was in the military when this came out and the base had an old stage theater converted to screen movies. Since it was a single auditorium, only one movie played each day. I had misread the schedule and thought I was going to see a different movie as I didn't think Fight Club looked that interesting. But man I loved it. Saving Private Ryan. My heart rate was sky high for the whole of the beach landing scene and I felt like I was there with them. Everyone talks about the beach landing scene for obvious reasons, but man seeing the final battle scene, https colon slash slash yahtoo.be slash irhfou9xlc close bracket in the theater and hearing the ball bearing squeak of the pants a track for what seemed like an eternity before it showed up was horrifying and is something I haven't been able to recreate in viewing since. Star Wars, 1977. I was 9 years old. Never saw anything like it before. I was 4. Afterwards I told my mom I could hear music in my head and asked her to put her ear to mine and listen to it herself. She asked me what kind of music and I replied space music my dad bought the soundtrack and had to teach me how to use the record player because I wanted to listen to it every chance I got. They started buying records with collections of classical music. The Reese's Grocery Store sold a different record of the Boston Philharmonic every month with different categories of music, overtures, symphonies, rhapsodies, etc., and I loved them all. Basically Star Wars is why I'm a musician today. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind This was the first movie that sprung into my mind as well. The soundtrack. Editing and non-linear storytelling all work so well together, and I love the very tender and moving way it examines the pain and joy of being in a relationship. I wish I could wipe my memory and see it again for the first time. 
The Prestige. You think you know what genre movie you're watching until you get to the end. The Silence of the Lambs. Every single movie I had ever seen had made a heroine interested in love. Finally, a movie about a genuinely terrifying bad guy, and the hero doesn't fold or fade, and the same with the book. Sadly, no sequel ever ever existed. Ever. The Land Before Time. Granted I was like 4 years old but still. An American Tale. Children of Men. Clive Owen and Michael Caine are amazing. The direction by Kuaran and general dark feel of the movie just suck you right into the bleakness. I saw it in theaters with some friends when we were all a bunch of 18 year olds thinking we were in for just a regular Seafy movie. We walked out in total silence and no one said a word until we were like 10 minutes into the car ride home. It was just so intense and emotional we were all just processing for ages. The Fifth Element Aziz Light Memento I'm not very good at picking up themes and subtleties in movies, but the first time I realized half the scenes being in reverse makes it so that the viewer has the same level of memory as the Leonard, blew me away. You see the motel guy doing him a favor and in the next scene you realize he's just playing him, same with Natalie, makes you feel just how Leonard would feel. He was gullible because he could remember only the previous scene, and so could we cause we hadn't watched any scene prior to that. It made me appreciate everyone involved in the making of the movie. The Sixth Sense Before the internet you could actually watch a movie with a surprise ending and have it be a surprise. And anyone who says I knew is a fucking liar. Edit, I reiterate, anyone who says I knew is a filthy fucking liar. Oh man, I just got to watch this with my daughter. The movie is old enough that the spoilers no longer permeate much of modern pop culture, so she didn't know the ending. It was great getting that authentic reaction to the reveal. Pulp Fiction. I had no idea you could tell a story non-linearly. Blew my mind. I actually finished the movie, rewound the tape, and watched it again, just to make sure I understood it properly and also because of how awesome it was. Still my favorite film of all time. I still remember watching it and being confused how John Travolta was in the last scene when his character had already been killed. A non-linear story really was a new concept to me at the time. It seems nuts now because non-linear storytelling is so established as a storytelling method. V for Vendetta was quite the right for me. Hugo Weaving nails V's character and motivations. I don't think I've ever so viscerally felt empowered by a character. Helps that I'm a burn victim. The Usual Suspects The Game W Michael Douglas This should be much higher. The thought put into the whole plot is mind-blowing on its own let alone how they wrap it all together. I don't want to say anything that will spoil it for anyone but if you like thrillers and want some serious mental stimulus go watch it immediately. The Dark Knight This was the first time I had seen a major budget comic book movie taken this seriously. And Heath Ledger was completely and utterly captivating every second that he was on screen. I scrolled way too far for this. This is the only movie I've ever seen multiple times in the theater. Contact. It's still one of my favorite movies today. This is the way it's been done for billions of years. Small moves, Ellie. Small moves. The first Pirates of the Caribbean. I remember when we saw the trailers for it, and I mocked it out loud like, what's next Disney? A spinning teacups movie. And then just blown away by how much of a masterpiece of action adventure movie making it is. Solid plot, amazing fight choreography, original non-remake story, great CGI, quotable dialogue, just a banger of a soundtrack, and of course, Jack Sparrow. Arrival I also love this one because of how it respects the viewer's intelligence, 
and completely upends our expectation of how alien life and technology works such as. Spoiler alert spoiler alert. The ship dissolving into air instead of flying, the heptapods being feet of enormously tall beings, the language and concept of non-linear time. I thought about this movie constantly when teaching my kids how to communicate, about all the processes that have to happen in their minds before they can even begin to form words. Deleted. Starship Troopers. It came out when I was in elementary, so I had no idea about fascism. I just love sea fee, giant bugs and war movies. Watching it all in one movie featuring epic battles was so much fun. Don't forget the boobies. Blue Velvet. Not your typical 80s movie and Ennis Hopper scared the shit out of me. Don't you fucking look at me. Gotta be Fellowship of the Ring for me. The entire Moria sequence from the wizard duel on the mountain to the escape into the arena is still my favorite 30 minutes of film history. Seeing the big reveal of the Balrog in the theater was just chef's kiss. And the knowledge that there was going to be two more movies. Cube. For a similar vibe, check out the platform, El Hoyo 2019. American History X was the last time I cried at a movie. Also definitely affected my entire world view of racism and hatred. So that movie is loosely based on a guy called Frank Meink. I went to a seminar he was giving for extra credit in high school, because my history teacher recognized some problematic behavior I was exhibiting. Probably the best thing anyone has ever done for me. The man has a very interesting perspective, being a reformed neo-Nazi gang member. It definitely increased my awareness of my own shitty behavior and attitude toward people of other ethnicities. I realized that my animosity came from a lack of understanding and it was my own fault for never putting in the effort to interact with different cultures in a positive way. I was judging people based on what I'd been told, not what I personally knew to be true. Sorry for the rant, totally agree with your sentiment here. American History X is one of my favorite movies of all time. Brazil. Just gets better with age. Wonderfully weird. For fans of 1984, but make it a comedy? Like just as dark and horrible and frustrating as or well but funny. With the visual style straight out of Monty Python. Amazing cast too. I'm absolute gem. 12 Monkeys. Still the best time travel movie ever emo. Inspired by. Largette, https colon slash slash www.rottentomatoes.com slash m slash la underscore jt close bracket if you're interested. Akira. It was the first anime I'd ever seen and I was quite young, maybe 12 or 13. The detail, the voice acting and the absolutely insane plot blew me away. Man you really jumped right in for your first anime, lol. Such a great film. So unique and I can't think of another anime, film or series, that matches its uniqueness. Shawshank Redemption. Damn I stood up and gave standing ovations alone. Deleted. Jacob's Ladder. Hands down, The Matrix. 1999. Junior year of high school, went with a few of my buddies on opening night. Had absolutely no clue what to really expect but I was ready for it. Seeing the faces of people while leaving that theater was something else. I knew I walked out of that movie repeatedly thinking in my mind, Holly the idiot. Hollywood can do stuff like that now question mark me and my friends didn't really break our silence till we finally got to the car. Looking back. I guess we were all just processing what we had watched for the first time. No one really knew what to say. Then we went nuts talking about it. Honestly, The Matrix created a before and after line in Hollywood that was frankly as big as the jump to sound or the jump to color. They did stuff in that film that was just unthinkable before. City of God 
Great movie, rarely see people talk about it. That one shot where the bullet lands in the car mirror sticks in my mind constantly, dunno why but it is really cool to me. And the characters are pretty memorable too. Inception This one blew my mind the most out of any movie I've seen in theaters. Had to see it two more times before I felt like I really grasped it, and yet I was still left wondering at the end. I'm somewhat late to the party here, but I was 22 years old when Amelie came out. Up to that point movies had just been action and dumb comedies, which I still like sometimes now, but back then it was all I watched. When I saw Amelie my mind was changed, and it opened a whole new world of film for me, now I love all kinds of different movies. I had never seen anything like that before. Gone Girl Interstellar I bet you can still hear Matthew McConaughey yelling Murph in your head just as clear as the first time you saw the movie. That bookshelf scene is haunting. Just an incredible movie. Sicario. The way the movie was shot. The tension, the violence, and the plot of the movie was great. And the movie is a visual cinematic masterpiece. Being John Malkovich. Rewound the tape to watch again just to wrap my head around what I just witnessed. Donnie Darko Donnie Darko is permanently in my top 5. I love it the same way I love a great painting. I don't even need the plot to completely hang together, although I know there are plenty of explanations to be found out there. I've always said, if you don't like Donnie Darko, I might still like you. But if you love Donnie Darko, then I know I'm going to like you. Lotta Return of the King I'm talking about the Rahirim Charge. A or day. A red day. Ere the sun rises. Carry. I was 18 and it was 1976 I am not sure if that was the first film that ended on a jump scare but I don't know of any earlier. Rear Window Primer Sin City 